Oh, here comes Gregory, little Gregory Pippery, the nocturnal Gregarious White Swan. Happy birthday, Uncle Mikey. That one guy. This one guy. With the old pipe with the old wood and the old pipe and the old hats and the young and new Mikey. Happy birthday. Second challenge tonight, as I went on about again, this gorgeous scorpion, evil scorpion of death. Ooh, I'm inside, oh my god. Oh, it's good. I took out the seeds because I really don't like chewing up seeds. So, anybody thinks that that makes the challenge uh, maybe a hair easier? I'll, I'll agree to that. It takes a little bit of that membrane, but it's not uh, most of the pepper. I think that uh, it's still spicy a meatball okay I'm installing all night I want to get this done well I got three minutes to midnight so it's still technically Uncle Mikey's birthday so in the tradition fire in the hole watch wallet spectacles testicles <sighs> somebody please send my way with ham one bite none of that two bite no one sense this one's gonna hurt. I already know it. Okay. Fire in the hole. Hmm. Should be okay. Hmm. That's a lot of pepper. Super meaty. Just thick, thick, thick wall pepper. Very sweet, but with that bitter back to it. Maybe a hint of flora. Should eat the habanero first, like I did the last time. Completely change the flavor profile. This scorpion's floral. Wow. Okay. Not brutal like the red one, though. That red one was so floral, I could, I could hardly eat it. This one just a little hint. Well, oh, first of all, the father. <clears throat> And, uh, one of the things about uh, chomping down pods is, uh, like Chili Klaus warned about, if you don't chew them up real good, they're going to beat you up in the belly. So do most of the work up top. Anybody that's ever eaten glass knows that too. You got to pulverize it to powder before you let it down down the hatch. <clears throat> All right, there it is. And this is going to hurt. I already know this is really going to hurt. I can feel the heat already building in the roof of my mouth. The back of my throat a little. Uh, my tongue all over. It's an all over burn. <clears throat> Thankfully so far I haven't long piped it so my windpipe is still unspiced. I think I'm going to move it around with a little bit of, uh, of the apple juice here. <clears throat> I feel it in the, right at the top of my esophagus. Ooh, that's, uh, that's spicy. Ooh, that's a brutal heat. It's getting hotter now. It starts to creep in and go back to your neck. You can feel it coming back here. That's when you know that you're going to be in for a real solid burn.
got y'all burned for five minutes here. Got the uh, extra can of apple juice just in case, which I suspect will probably be necessary. Oh man, that's hot. Move around, move around. This is going to get tears out of me. I'm sure watering up. Very well, might. Oh, that's hot. As the Stephen Wilson song says, you know, it's only the start. It's got me bad at the back of the throat. Really bad. Uh, oh, excuse me. That's a brutal pepper. Anyone that gave you a scorpion, my hat's off to you. You know what that feels like now. Such a fat little bugger, too. Uh, excuse me. Uh. Uh. Starting to feel a little bit like Uncle Mikey there. Get the little wood shoes up in the air. Preemptive by Mitchell for the feelings before it's necessary because <coughs> oh my god, my throat's on fire. Oh. Oh, I just got the power wobble. What's that like two and a half minutes ago? I ate the damn thing and it's still ramping up. I think I got a tear coming. Oh. Oh, preemptive. Oh my goodness. Must be my sugar. Speaking of which, Uncle Mikey, when will the the two live Jews ride again? They never seem to get everything in the same shot. My brain works backwards. That's when I need somebody here to do the brain games thing where you cross your hands, you bring it up and underneath, somebody points at a finger like this one, and you move it, and it's the wrong one. I love that. One guy, Donato, was the one guy that moved the right finger. Never seen it before. Said it was because he was a drummer. You might even be right. That's a bird. <clears throat> oh, excuse me so much. Those pepper burps just come from the socks. Oh, oh. oh my god. The burn now is so intense. And then when you leave it alone for a bit, it's, it 
comes down, but then it starts going back up again. You think you're not going to survive. But you know what? You always do. Always. Even if you shed a wee tear. Oh, 10 minutes. Oh, my God. It's been, what, five minutes I've been on fire here. That's a good bird. A long time I let it play. Mm. Oh. Oh. Now, the endorphin flood after this, after my brain literally thinks that my mouth is <coughs> actually on fire, my brain will dump dopamine like a painkiller, not like a painkiller, exactly as a painkiller. And for about the next hour or so, I will have my head firmly in the clouds. I'll be stumbling around. Oh, wow. My <coughs> I don't think my mustache has sweat yet in a challenge. But my mustache is sweating this time. <coughs> Wow, for there the minutes just keep blasting away. I can't believe how much time I'm killing here. Well, <clears throat> so after all that intensity, I think I'm I'm bringing it back down to even now. I can still feel it, but it, it's not like I'm I'm still thinking it's still going up. It can it can still be there though? Oh my goodness. A scorpion pod, no joke. Seems to be the, the buzzword now for everybody that's show the seriousness <clears throat> what some of these pods can do. And I was amazed tonight to see Joe Rogan say that nobody could taste a ghost pepper and that there's no flavor. And uh, especially, woo, my nose is running. As a guy who's obviously a tattoo junkie who appreciates to taste the pain that uh, hot peppers are, are the best next best thing absolutely because you can do that anytime you want and as I found out on uh, on Sunday at the farm boy I spent 88 cents on hot peppers I bought two scorpions and four Thai chilies and it cost me 88 whole cents now I'm gonna get so lit up off of that 80 cents there's nothing else that even comes close to that bang for your buck value of uh, capsaicin. Uh, especially if you don't mind to taste the pain, right? <clears throat> Most, uh, I got my, uh, I'll never get the decent picture of that. David, you got to get me a picture of my scorpion. I need a picture of this tattoo. I can show everybody my, my tattoo from, uh, I think it was uh, Harlem? where uh, um, Ronald Bonkirk had his studio outside of Amsterdam and Holland. Uh, I think it was Harlem. Oh, no, it was Ar Arlexan. Oh, I have the sticker on my guitar case. I could go look at it. Ar Arlen? Ah, I don't remember. But uh, that was my, f my second taste of the pain, my first taste of the pain well. Quick flash here. Ooh, no, I can't see it. Oh, that's terrible. Well, that's not legal anymore, not illegal anymore. So, ooh, hallelujah. This one goes out to my pop. Same tattoo, same place. Why can't I get this? My brain works backwards on the webcam. There we go. Hallelujah. Miss you, pop. <clears throat> I wish you'd been here to see the breaking of the old ways. Waited your whole life to see it. You missed it by that much. Okay. So, I'm, I'm, I'm fully down, 40 seconds, so. Cheers, Pop. Happy birthday, Uncle Mikey. Everybody go out and eat a scorpion. <laughs>